Hey, everybody on YouTube. I'm going to try to make these more, I guess, casual. I tend to try and perfect things rather than just do it. I think we all have that problem. We want it to be perfect. We want it to be as good as it can be. But sometimes you just got to show up. So I'm going to probably post more videos of me being somewhat spontaneous and just explaining things the way I see them as I see them because those moments will be lost and not be a shame. All right. So let's talk about the fall of Western civilization right now. There's a lot of reasons that could be. Right? There's a lot of reasons why Western the Western civilization is falling. I think the alienation of one person to another is a is a leading cause to it. And I think there's a certain lack of relationship people have with themselves. Uh, I want to say that the West worships aesthetics and achievement. They don't really they don't really put due emphasis on just improving day by day, right? So I'm gonna take a look at the West and we're gonna take a look at the East and we're gonna compare and contrast. And we'll see how it goes. All right. This is a uh, channel <laughs> called Sugar Tits. She's pretty funny, but here she goes and complains about uh, the kind of stuff I'm talking about here. Just always associated the gym with, quite frankly, dickheads. You know, vanity stricken. Look at me, look at me, look at my abs, look at my glutes. I've been working so hard on my glutes. See how the sweat just shines off my rippling abs. You know, those kind of douches. Why you got to dis- yeah, so there we go. Sugar Tits is complaining about um, <laughs> guys at the gym who are there for vanity, right? This The West has this weird obsession over vanity and looking super good, and whereas the East, you just want to improve. So we're going to contrast, okay? Uh, here's here's a, pardon the uh, tackles and all that thing. I apologize, YouTube. It's for art, okay? Whatever. It's educational purposes. I, I blew up the big guy. Presumably, he's a Spartan. He's got the Greek helmet, tons of abs, all that stuff. Uh, not much has changed from here to He-Man. And uh, this weird worship of the body and of aesthetics, classical aesthetics, classical architecture. I want to ask, like, how does this actually help anything? Like, what does this do for you? I mean, notice that these, uh, these old buildings are in ruins because the people who live there stopped maintaining them. Why did they stop maintaining them? Why are these ancient structures, which are very strong, built to last generations why have the generations not lasted with them right it's because these structures and these aesthetics and all this stuff doesn't actually contribute to your well-being as a family uh that the family is the most important thing right that's the cornerstone of civilization that's the foundation upon we build everything well how does this how does this building help it's just purely there for glory how does having rippling abs help you actually it's just there purely for vanity you want to be seen we're we're looking at the markers of a functional civilization and mistaking that for being the actual civilization. You, you know what I'm saying? Do you understand that like these buildings are a byproduct of a functional society? They don't make a functional society. And when you start worshiping these markers, this classical architecture or these classical bodies and all that stuff, you're it's like a cargo cult. You're trying to summon the good times. You're trying to summon the times when things made sense, presumably, uh, assuming they did. You're trying to summon back the olden days by building the buildings and looking the look and, oh, you got to read the classics. You got to return to this, return to that, you know, return with the stupid V in it. it. It doesn't work that way. Let me show you what an actual functional society looks like. All right. Jeff Wong. Okay. Here he is in a field. This is a, this man right here is peak masculinity as far as I can see. He probably owns this place. Right. He's in decent shape. He's not fat, but he's, he's just sort of there. But that's his nephew. Yeah, his uncle cooked this rice. His nephew is a world-class chef, right? Oh, grab this and turn it down. I don't do sound levels. Sorry, guys. Um, speaking Chinese, why do we need to hear it? <laughs> we all know what eggs sound like when they get cracked. All right, sorry about that. I'm new with this. Not perfect direction, not perfection. Okay, every day is a little bit better. It doesn't you don't start out perfect? Okay, but this is this absolute obsession over perfection has made it so we can't actually move forward. Have you, have you ever had it where you start a journey and then someone kind of puts you down or makes you feel like you're so far away from the end? Whereas if you focused on your improvement, you'd see how far you've come. Like when you, when you shoot for ideals, all you can measure is how far away you are from that ideal. When you measure against yourself how you've been doing previously without any, and you don't might not have a goal in mind. You just want to get better at something, right? Um, you, all you see is where you've come, like how far you've come. It's so self-defeating to be looking at these old civilizations and these classics and saying, well, that's the way we should be. We should go back to the past. 
like a person who looks back to the past, I don't see how you can see a future. Right, here's another channel I really like. I'm actually going to try and unmute him. your brother Hampton from Hybrid Calisthenics. Today I'm going to address a very common question I get, which is, Hampton, how do I do more push-ups? How do I do, how do I do more push-ups? Sorry, I had to make sure my <laughs> microphone is actually on. How do I do more push-ups, right? More push-ups than yesterday. This guy is not like some Adonis, right? I'm going to mute him. This guy's not some Adonis. He's not there to, he's not getting fit to be seen. What he's doing is he's getting fit to be better than he was the day before, right? This guy just looks like a normal guy. And a lot of a lot of Asians I see trying to just look like normal guys. You could just be a normal guy, dude. Be a normal... Like Sugar Tits was complaining about, there's an air of douchiness that comes with uh, trying to have this absolute rippling aesthetic. Like this, The amount of work that goes into a body that looks like that, it, it makes you not really trust it. It makes you think this person is pursuing vanity and and to be they want to be seen, right? Even just take a look at the thinker, the guy who's thinking, right? Why? Well, like he's super fit, super buff, right? It's almost like the boxer, right? There's the thinker, and I think there's a guy called the boxer. Oh, statue! It's an old movie. Yeah, the thinker and the boxer, pretty similar, right? It, like, why? Why does the thinker have to have like this weird rippling body? Why is there a worship of the ideal rather than a worship of how far we've come? I don't know what he's thinking about. I mean, that's part of the mystery, but it seems pretty stupid that he looks like this. That the there's a certain truth to that you don't really see yourself in things if you idealize them too much. And I think the West doesn't, I think the West idealizes so much. The, the West idealizes so much. They really can't see themselves in the future. So they try to retreat back to a past they've never been to. And that's a dying and losing strategy. And I, I hope that stops. Um, but this pursuit of perfection and refinement is going to be the death of you. You should be trying to just improve. Like I see Western civilization. Like, let's say you're you're from England or Belgium or something, right? That, um, and you got these beautiful buildings, and you're comparing them to, with America. It's like oh, America doesn't have beautiful buildings like this. I was like, you guys didn't build those buildings either. They were there when you were born. Like I don't see the improvement. Okay, actually, I see the downfall. And you were surrounded psychologically by the old architecture of better days gone by, and things that you probably could never do. And it's almost haunts you. Almost like if you if you demolished every building that was made before World War II. In, in the old world, would it look any different than America? Well, then who's better? It's, like, it's kind of like I'm looking at the spoiled children of like, like I have a trust fund children who are bragging because their inheritance is so much greater than the inheritance of someone who has not had such a, a great endowment, right? And I see nothing but downfall for this. I, I would prefer to take my wooden house. I'd prefer to live in a tent rather than see that all my best days are behind me and I'll never get better. Like, what's the point of living? I mean, that's what, probably why there's so much mental health issues like in the West. Like the East, we don't go to therapists in numbers like the West does. It's insane. It's because you guys, all you see is how, fall you, how far you have fallen short of your goal. I stopped making goals. My life has actually gotten better. I'm more productive now that I don't have goals. I just say, what am I going to do today? Uh, same thing that Scott Adams kind of does uh, when he makes a system rather than uh, having goals. You know, you guys, all you do is fall short when you have those goals. And a vision is nothing but a dream. I'd say take things one step at a time. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Don't fall into the trap. Your family is the most important thing. And these ancient statues and, you know, you getting abs isn't actually going to help your children at all. It's it purely self-indulgent. It's there to get female attention. or But usually it ends up being... Uh, male attention of, of a somewhat sultry variety. Uh, I hope that was helpful for you guys, and I will see you all later.